Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra aka Simply Love and I'm here to do your monthly reading. Sorry about the delay, <clears throat> I had a lot of stuff going on and a lot of readings before I was able to even finish doing my videos so I do apologize for that but I'm here to finish out your readings. Okay, first of all I'm going to be shuffling online, here are the cards right here. Sorry about my um, area, <clears throat> but I'm in a different area so... You know, I'm not on my computer. I'm on my cell phone right now. So I can finish y'all readings, okay? Like I said, I had a lot of readings came uh, scheduled. Um, and I only put a few videos out. So, so sorry about that. I apologize. So, here we go. This is for Taurus for October. I've been saying September in my previous videos. I apologize for that too. These months go by so fast. And I forget. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It's for the month of October for the sign of Taurus. First thing I want to do is read intuitively. Here are the cards right here. I haven't shuffled them or anything. After I read intuitively, I'm going to go ahead and, and shuffle your cards and give you some additional messages. This is for sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? So um, it's going to resonate to some and some is not going to resonate. Okay, so what I feel intuitively for the sign of uh, Taurus for the month of all October. October, sorry you guys. I feel like some of you may be, some of you Tauruses may be getting married or you may be engaged to somebody. Some of you are already married. I feel like for some of you that are married or there's this, you suffer some kind of loss, some of you. And it doesn't even have to be a marriage situation. I'm doing general and love together on this video, on these videos for this month of October. So I feel like there's been a loss of some money or some finances for some of you. It could have been a job loss for some of you. Some of you just could have just lost money in some kind of way. I'm not hearing what kind of way. I'm just feeling that like there for some of you out there, there's been a loss of money. I feel like some of you out there are going to get married, engaged, or are already married. Engagements, things like that I'm hearing. Okay, for some of you, I feel like you're going to receive some type of gift or something coming to you. It's like a surprise almost, okay? I'm feeling a surprise. And for some of you, I feel like you're going to have luck when it comes to money. So if you can play the lottery or something like that, some of you Tarsus out there. But for some of you, I just feel like you're going to have a, some luck. Some of you are going to lose out on some money uh, or something's happening when it comes to it finances and some of you are going to be lucky when it comes to finances like you're going to get a lump sum of money only some of y'all out there that know what i'm talking about okay so here we go shuffling the cards okay give me a little time here while i shuffle See what I see for you, Taurus. Okay, here we go. Like I said, sorry, I don't have my regular setup. This has to do. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? We're going to take that out here. You got the high priestess, okay? First that came out. High priestess is telling me that there's some secrets, okay, for some of y'all. Some kind of secret. Secret. Somebody in the background. And it also, for some of you, it means using your intuition. So, a lot of you need to use your intuition at this time. It may have something to do with money or figuring out something about some money or about a relationship. Okay, when it comes to engagements or a marriage or something. Yes, there's celebrations. Here we go. There's going to be celebrations for some of you. For some of you, there's a third party situation going on. And that's probably why the high priestess is here for some of you. Use your intuition to see that this three of cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um... There's definitely some secrets going on, and it's a third-party situation for some of you. For some of you, you just using your intuition intuition when it comes to some type of love situation, um, and you're going to be celebrating. Like I said, I feel like some of y'all are engaged or going to be, or 
just getting married, some type, some type of marriage situation going on for a lot of you Tauruses for October. So you have a reason to celebrate. For some of you, it's celebration. For some of you, it's finding out about, you know, there's a third party situation going on. So now I have the magician. This is somebody who can, um, you know, make anything happen. They have all the tools necessary to uh, accomplish what they want to accomplish or do what they want to do. All right. Magician. So, somebody's got the magic touch. I got the magic touch. Well, it's actually, I got the Midas touch. Everything I touch turns gold. So, some of y'all, like I said, with that luck I got for intuition, when I, you know, heard. So, some of y'all coming in lucky with, uh, with some money. A lump sum, okay? That's what I'm hearing. So, you know. You'll all know who you are. Okay, some of y'all going to begin with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen, or the King of Cups. Remember, there's no gender because there's men and women watching. So, I feel like for some of you, somebody's going to offer somebody some type of love in this situation. And it's magical for some of you. Um, or somebody is like making things happen when it comes to this offer of love. For some of you, I'm feeling as though you might be a little depressed or in your head regarding a love situation. And that may be coming with this person that may have a third party situation going on. And it ca it's causing depression and drinking. Okay, somebody's. Okay, so we got three more cards coming here. The tower. Here we go. Some of you are breaking up. Some of y'all are gonna break up and some marriages are failing here. I see somebody's maybe getting divorced with the tower. Some of y'all are gonna be rebuilding, ending something and rebuilding. You know, this is something that's gonna take a lot of you by surprise. It's like because this is the surprise, like something happening quickly and very abrupt. So there's some abrupt endings happening here. And um, it's going to happen really quickly. And I feel like it's going to take some of you by surprise. Some of you want to apologize for something. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is the energy. It could be any sign. See that? Can you see that card? Somebody's wanting to apologize. Or somebody wanting to, for some of you, there's somebody who wants to ask you apologize. And for some of you, they want to reconcile. You know, try to make something work after a sudden lightning bolt busts out through the sky about something. Something that takes you by surprise or vice versa. You could be doing this to somebody else. You can always take this and turn it around. If it doesn't apply to you, there's some you're doing it to someone or someone's doing it to you. I feel like this person is going to offer love for some of you or is a love offer. Because you got them flowers, you sit on this and he's like begging, will you please marry me? Because I said some of y'all going to get married. I said that intuitively, right? So here you go. All right? Some of y'all is like a breakup situation. And it could be a breakup and makeup for some of you. I feel like some of you are going to have new beginnings, okay, with the ace of wands brand new beginning starting all over again leaving something in the past some of you are going to say no to a love offer or a marriage proposal some of you are going to say yes to a love offer or a uh, a marriage proposal here because that's all moving moving forward okay with the ace passionately just moving forward in your life new beginnings okay and with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this is telling me it's going to grow for some of you. This is going to be something that's going to grow, not only just, you know, in a love situation, but as far as um, money is concerned, there's growth here. You know, it's like a wish coming true. All right. All right, let's see what else we got here for you. I'm going to use my other little bet here and see if we can get a few more messages. 
Yeah, luck is on its way. I said that intuitively. Remember, for some of you, some of you are going to lose some, some money. Some of you are going to gain some money. Um, and gifts. Some of you are going to be getting gifts, showered with gifts. I feel like it may have some, may be connected to what I said about, you know, the marriage. Maybe getting gifts from people because uh, in celebration. Because I do see celebration here, too. You can always rewind and go back to see what I said intuitively. Give me a few seconds here while I shuffle my deck. Sorry y'all can't see me, but hey, I'm using my phone. I'm trying to get all my videos out before I start my readings all over again. Thank you all who called. Love you. You know who you are. <laughs> Now, just for some more confirmation, we got the Nine of Wands again, which came out in your other, to verify, you know, there's something that's going to be growing here with the Nine of Wands. Uh, some money, you know, uh, some of y'all might meet somebody at your job or have met someone at your job, or some of you are going to um, grow in your job situation and making more money, okay? Um... Got the Six of Swords is telling me in a love situation, I feel like some of y'all are going to meet somebody from your past. And I feel like they're going to try to apologize or want a second chance. And it's going to cause um, some celebrations for some of you. Some of you are going to maybe walk away from this person from the past and start brand new with the Ace of Wands. Okay, or some of you, it could be just your soulmate, because that talks about somebody you've been with for a long time, maybe childhood memories and stuff like that that you've been with for a long time. It could be your childhood boyfriend or somebody you've been dating for a long time. Some of y'all been in a long-term relationship, but it's about to come to an end for some of you. Yep, there it is, the ending card. All right, you see she get ready to jump ship. She's leaving or he's leaving. So some of y'all is getting left behind from a partner that you've been with from the past. You're leaving some of you. Some of you, you have somebody that you're growing with. Um, the King or Queen of Cups, somebody, there's another love offer. So you're leaving to go to another love offer that's going to be offered to you for some of you. You're leaving to the king or the queen of cups and you're going to offer your love to someone else or somebody else is offering their love to you all right let me give you some angel cards here and then one of my cards from my deck simply love oracle affirmation cards thank you all who purchased them and if they're still for sale okay so if you need if you want those just let me know and i'll make sure you get them you know what to do just email me all my information is going to be in the description below Okay, I got, for some of you, you know, there needs to be some forgiveness. Like I said, I feel breakups. Remember I told you? So there needs to be some forgiveness behind them breakups. Somebody needs to forgive somebody. Don't hold grudges. Life is too short, okay? Life's too short for all that. Um, for some of you, if you have a question, answer a question. Ask the question right now. Ask the question the guys are saying. That's a big no. Whatever it was you had a question about. All right, some of you are going to choose a different direction, and we already talked about that in your reading, too. That's somebody starting over brand new, and with the six of, um, I'm sorry, with the eight of cups, that's somebody turning their back on somebody, you know, jumping ship. She's on a ship, and she's jumping it, They're, or he, depending on who's watching the video, and they're leaving. There's people leaving relationships and marriages, and they're starting they're going to choose a new direction. That's what the card says. Choosing a new direction. All right. And your last card here says um, some some of y'all need to improve. There's going to be improvement of your health. If there's any health issues that you've been concerned about, Taurus, male and females, don't worry about it. It looks like to me your guys are saying it's going to improve. Now I'm going to use my card, Shuffling in Simply Love, 
love oracle affirmation cards and we're going to see we're going to end the video with that okay <laughs> and i hope this resonated to some of you if it didn't look up your uh, moon and rising sign or sun sign sorry about that all right let's see what come out here Okay, you got the card that love is a power. Love is a power. Love is a power. Love is all there is, okay? So that ends your reading, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you need a personal private reading, you know what to do. Just, you know, look down in the description. All my information is there um, to contact me. And um, need to hurry because I'm booking up really, really fast, okay? So, <laughs> and I'm on the go to doing other different things, so... Thank you guys for um, tuning into my channel. Thank you for um, subscribing. I, I, I looked on my uh, subscriber list and I see that's growing and growing as the day goes by. I really appreciate you um, uh, subscribing and sharing my videos throughout social media. I really appreciate it. So you guys take care, okay? And love is all there is. And love is all there is. I'll talk to you guys in mid-August. I'm sorry, October. Take care. Bye. <laughs>